Hello and welcome to Gadget Mad. So, Samsung released their latest addition to the Galaxy series, and well, I decided to pre-order it. There's a few new exciting features which we'll get into soon, but first, let's see what's in the box. Right on top, we have the phone itself. Now, compared to many other phones, Samsung's included accessories are very basic, and a reason for there being no power brick is because they want you to buy their fast charging 25 or 45 watt wall charger separately. But hey, they were generous enough to slide in a Type C cable and a SIM injector tool. Straight out of the box, it is clear they're going for that sharp edged look, with the cameras also protruding on the rear. These cameras are Samsung's main selling point with this model. On the rear, we have a 108 megapixel wide angle camera, two 10 megapixel telephoto cameras, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 40 megapixel front facing camera. Of course, it is also stacked with features, such as the night mode, which so far has been working out pretty well. I've been really enjoying the 100x zoom too, and can still manage to get reasonably detailed pictures with it. The 8K video resolution is nice to play with, but with great resolution comes large files, so it's not something I'd use often. Alternatively, I can always film at 1080p or 4K, and once again, the camera is stacked with features such as super slow-mo at 960 frames per second. I have noticed, however, that the cameras sometimes have trouble focusing. When aiming the camera face down on an object, some of the object's outline can be a little out of focus, but that once again could be down to my lack of camera skills. Something that isn't lacking is the storage space on this thing. The S22 Ultra can come with 128GB, 256GB, 512GB, and in some countries 1TB. Sadly, where I'm from, 1TB is not an option, so I've gone with the 512GB model. One of the reasons why I went with such high storage is because this phone doesn't have an SD card slot, and that could be because Samsung wants you to pay for their cloud storage. My S22 Ultra has 12GB of RAM, which is 4GB less than the previous S21 Ultra, so that sounds a little bit disappointing. Instead though, Samsung has integrated something called RAM Plus, which can convert up to 8GB of storage into memory. The performance of this phone has been flawless so far. The Snapdragon 8 Gen Octa-Core processor handles multitasking and graphically demanding games with ease, even on high settings. Something to watch out for, however, is the battery life, as heavy amounts of usage will drain the 5000 mAh battery reasonably quickly. I found it to easily last a full day though, so it's definitely not a deal breaker for me, but something to keep in mind. Samsung has given us the brightest display on any Android phone so far. It's a stunning 6.8 inch AMOLED screen which slightly curves around the edges. The blacks are deep, the colors are crisp, and it is bright. Samsung has thrown a noteworthy addition, the built-in S Pen. Clicking it out of the body instantly lets you draw or write down notes. I haven't really been using it, but I definitely can see it being useful for those who want to get down ideas when on the go, or those who want to integrate it into their workflow to become more efficient. The surround sound speakers give plenty of volume with the most immersive results when the phone is horizontal. Now the coolest thing about this phone in my opinion is the microphone's zoom feature. So when recording a video, if you zoom in on a subject, the microphone also zooms and isolates the audio to give a far crisper result. Lastly, as expected, the S22 Ultra feels like a flagship. It feels durable, although it is a little on the heavy side. So, who is the S22 Ultra for? It's not for everyone, and even though it has heaps of features, I'd only recommend getting it if you're planning on using them. If you are looking for something to boost your productivity and expand your creativity, then I'd definitely recommend considering it. But keep in mind though that the storage isn't expandable, the battery life isn't incredible, and as far as phones go, it's quite expensive. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this review helpful. Please consider subscribing and I will now leave you with some clips taken on the S22 Ultra.
Thank you.